plane if that keeps up here. Harry, we've had great games so far out of Vitality. A slow start yesterday, sure, but they, they came back into their own on Nuke and they almost won the series out. Lucky, gooshed in middle. Astralis on the CT side and Lucky's been a delight to watch as well. He's held his own when needed to, but up against Zai Wu, fastest sniper in the West. It's not going to be easy. Moving through middle and the toilets. We've got shocks outside of B. Not got util to sell any kind of fake, so they might just be grouping with him or him with them. Spot for Gra uh, Glaive Gra uh, gets that info, sees a couple of players through the toilets. It's not the bomb though, didn't spot it, so doesn't have that full rotate. Finally grabs Iwu and sees the package. Now you can see Astralis shuffling, stacking, moving all the way up CT spawn. Everyone's coming through. They've got to play the 4-5-A setup. Bobski hangs around, a bit of hesitation. Vitality could go back down, but they've not. So Astralis stick their guns, and the guns come to them. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, dear. This is a, a misread of sorts. Got a, no kit either. So this is a real gamble dropping down. They see a smoke, but they don't see a commit. Now it finally comes through late. Yeah. Also, Lucky is really out on an island here, swinging wide at bank. I don't know how he's still alive, if I'm being honest. He was tucked in the right-hand corner, down beneath that little oh, billboard. Hey. Ooh, Kyojin, up close, trying to Revenge. come in with a bit of response. Dupree kills Glaive, not the Julies this time. No excuses, it's only shocks on the site with a USP, and he's tapped out. What a, what a mess of a round. Even with the TK, Astralis still win it. Did Dupree and Glaive have beef? Because <laughs> <laughs> That's twice now. This it was the... Dupree again last time, yeah, wasn't it? It was yeah, Dupree okay. who killed Just Glaive checking. with the duelies last right. time. Dupree coming in big, zero and zero after his two frags. <laughs> what a what's a round. Glaive had a great start as well. He got the first two kills of that round. Tip tapping with the USP took down Zaiwu and Masuta. And then Dupree's like, nah, mate. Glory, it's all mine. And they'll get the retake with plenty of time, even though Astralis, you know, they panic for a moment there. They get a bit scared of the B-bomb site, the prospect of that late rotate. But they still win it clean. And AK's out in the second round. Vitality don't wait around. Yeah, scouting Apex's hands. Gonna be interesting to see what he can deliver there. Apex was was very much the guy to keep an eye on, right? I think it was just him and Zai Wu in, in a lot of these Vitality games putting in the uh, putting in the work. Since the player break, they're both looking refreshed. They had a damage done to Zai Wu, but he's still gonna lock that kill in. Dupree through the smoke, finds that trade, and that's one of these AKs now removed. Vitality gonna group up here in the toilet. They want to get that AK back in the hands of Kyojin if they can, and they also want to try and deal with Dupree, who's just being a nuisance over here at long. Good for the first, can't quite follow up, but it's a lot of damage. It's also information gained. That's the bomb spotted over here in the long toilets. You're building a very clear picture of what the plan was in this round, what was meant to happen. If they go through toilets on the short side, they're going to be able to retrieve this dropped AK. So a little bit more to work with. Masuta grabbing that. A two on three as they meander up into this a bomb site. Right now, Magis Kia tucked in over towards Long is all alone while Astralis are gambling heavier down towards that B bomb site. With Glaive holding Con, uh, I think we're going to see Bobski yeah, starting to make his way up now. The Flash has given up the aim of the game and Bobski's never even needed. Magisk with a double kill keeps that round belonging to Astralis. Yeah, nice and easy, nice and simple stuff. Dupree gets a lot of damage out with the SMG, even though they knew where he was, right? That smoke may come down toilets. You often see CTs after they're spotted cross through that with Dupree mollying deep. Vitality knew he was there. They hunt him down, but they would have loved the long split just to get rid of Magisk's, uh, uh, Magisk's position. Instead, now it's just Deagles for Vitality. Wait out one eco, coming with AKs yet again in the fourth. Good grenade. Oh, it's no, it's a spray instead. It just takes down Apex in Con. Everyone else party bound, taking long.
They're not the German Deegs, but the French Deegs are damn good as well. Oh, lucky. Kind of trapped right now. He needs to get something out of this. He can't afford to give them a gun with no kills. And that's one at least. Damage done. Better than none. Bubski on a flank. He's come up connector. He's got Dupree alongside him as well. Zaiwu just misses that timing. They try and commit aim. It just sends them back with the Org. They don't want to challenge it. And so instead, the flank will mop up the pieces of this round. Easy peasy for Bubski. 3-0 for Astralis. And now, Vitality with guns. Yeah, both these teams, two and one in the group as well, right? So, good bit riding on this. You want to try and springboard yourself away from the from the Ents, from the team spirits. You know, you want to try and put a bit of distance between yourself and them in the standings. So, quite a lot riding on this one in that regard. Going to have the mid molly throwing out. Try to force a bit of respect out of Vitality in a triple A lean for Astralis. While this is happening, Vitality want nothing to do with A. They're all inning the B bomb site from the get go. Quite a, a first rifle round to throw in, right? A B rush. Can they get past Bubski? He's oh, trying to hold on. Bubski, king of the B site, won't let them in. He was the only defender once Glaive was toppled. And he's held out long enough that the cavalry can roll in for Astralis. These, these, this triple A stack now rotated down into the B bomb site. And it's all because Bobski just refuses to go down, refuses to give an inch of ground to Vitality. Beautiful stuff out of him there. Lovely to see. <laughs> And look at him, it's like when they used to do the bottle tricks. He's like made the bomb land the right way up. Sick. I always used to think, man, those bottle flip videos, damn. Like those guys must be slaying like yeah. such a cool talent. So here's shocks. 1v4. And he's going to die to Dupree. All right, Astralis looking warmed up right there. I love the call for Vitality, right? They go for three A rounds in a row, uh, and then they just explode B on the rifle. Yeah, it catches Astralis off guard. They go one for one on the entry, but then Bubski just pops. And Astralis, yeah, they're looking good right now. They're looking strong individually. It's a good sign. Vitality's mapping here in the series. We don't get to see any more Ancient today. Vitality seems to just be going for first bands on that map. It's a bit sad. But Inferno up next and Dust2 to close if we even need it. Astralis would love to make this a quick day in the office. Molly into middle, they smoke it and run. Lucky looking for a shot through the gap, but he can't find it. Bit of utility here. Vitality can make this round interesting with that 1AK kept on. Something that's been kind of impressive so far is like a lot of the a lot of the kind of gambly, reedy, stacky rounds have been uh, oftentimes read wrong for Astralis, right? Like in a lot of these situations, Vitality yeah. have been moving into the least protected bomb site, and yet still Astralis are at this four and zero scoreline. It was those kind of rounds that were, you know, in the heroic game earlier. It was the undoing of heroic in a lot of CT overpass rounds. Misreads, triple A's into double B's, and this is one of them. Elise has uh, quick rotates for heaven players with the orb, but Glaive holding strong and getting a double. You just don't need the whole Astralis entourage here. One man's enough. Glaive's done it this time around. And even if he falls, Bubski now joined by another man in Dupree. Glaive wants them all, though, and he might just find what? five. Yeah, he's on for the ace here. Give it to him. No! Bobski, are you trying to end up sidelined again? You just stole the ace from Glaive. Come on now. 5-0. and oh. There's Astralis. Looking good. Little timeout for Vitality. I got to try and address this one before it gets too out of hand. Something I will say.
right away, right? This sure. is a very high pressure game for Lucky. You're not up against, you know, a pretty prominent AWP. Uh, you know, pretty much all the AWPers here are more established in their role than Lucky. No, you're up against one of the best damn AWPers to ever grace Counter-Strike in Zai Wu. So talk about a trial by fire. Flash oh. in. A bit awkward. Oh my goodness. Goes through the window. That was meant to be a, a pop for Majisk, but it actually fully blinds him. Yeah. That's just a bit of a fumble, right? You, you hate that it happened, but you've got to deal with it. They're going to try and re-aggress over here. It's short to take some of this map control away. And actually, they get that kill to Masuta, and they leave. That's big. They never walk into Shoxi. Lucky now up in this A bomb site has called for rotation. Bobski moves in to help him out. Three players up in A, the bomb going all the way back through T-spawn. This is looking to be a B play, and Zaiwu has just opened up the site, but that was the bomb spotted. He said you wanted the orb, Harry, and while he's not taking down Lucky, it has delivered. Glaive is here. He's been good on the B-holes, but he's out of position in the open. Flash dodge, and Kyojin hits the shot. Lucky molly, double molly, and Bobski smoked in heaven. He fires through it, taking down a player on default. That might tempt you back into a retake round here if you're Astralis, but... Numbers are still the biggest problem, and Zaiwu has not left his angle. Apex is on the backstab, stopping the save. It seems like they're aware. Maybe they heard something, and that's slowing them down. But really, it should be pushing them forward, because Apex is a long way away. This is a done deal. Vitality are on the board here. Astralis is just looking to get away with guns. They've eventually got to move away from this bomb, even just a little bit. Apex. If they don't, he's going to be here to hound them down. Shot for Lucky. They're getting closer. Uh-oh. Bobski with one. Bomb going off. And there's the backstab for Apex. He dies with it. But it's more than worthwhile. Zywu so gets his orb out of the round. And Vitality get there first. Lovely spray for Apex, man. Some of his little lurks in the Pro League have uh, come in with huge results on... New yesterday, he was dropping it off of T roof or silo. Main roof on lock, these A splits. Mm -hmm. And dead like both guns on the exit. Hey, yeah, Apex has been a, a, a real treat. Uh, yeah. you know, return to form yeah. throughout the course of the Pro League. Lucky, gonna try his hand at the comp peak. Yeah, Masuta saw him there. When you stand on that little pallet, you have a tiny pixel gap. So even though Lucky doesn't get a spot, Masuta knows, and Lucky goes back in. They're wide. Lucky takes no shot, but receives some down to six. Good luck escaping here. Oh, right. That's, okay. Uh, that's something. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice out of Lucky. Yep. Fortunate to be alive right Can he now. get another? Six points of health. Is he going to be the one that got away and then went on to uproot the round? Masuta, he needs to finish the job he started. This is a very heavy toilet setup from Astralis. Two players in long playing off of each other. Magis never even really gets to see the guy who's shooting him. Apex ruins his day. But will they be ready for Dupree now? Not terribly common to see such a, a heavy focus on this toilet area. Apex still keeping his wits about wow. him is good for the opener again. Good check. Really good check. Yeah, there's no way you should be ready for that one, but a uh, bit of a read out of Vitality. They know that now Astralis will be stacked up on A. They know that Lucky's got the orb pushed back as well. Maybe it's tempting considering he's low. You've got Nades, you've got Mollies. Back down B and look what they're going into. Glaive in a perfect position, but the flashbang just renders him useless. They play with their food. Door open, door shut, back into B. They're going to commit. Oh, yeah. Another shot from Lucky, though. He's uh -oh. still providing Bubsky. Going to shut down the bomb over at short. And now just Shoxi. One on two. I said we haven't seen clutches out of this guy like normal, but he's only got eight seconds. He's got to make this one happen. Lucky so low in the bomb. It's just uh -oh. too late for Vitality. 
It didn't feel like much when Lucky got away, when Lucky got out of Con on six health, but it actually has resounding complications. He's alive at the end of the round, yeah. and that's all it takes for Astralis to find a six. Shocks had a nade, man. He had a nade, and they knew they knew Lucky was low from Connector as well. It's such a shame he doesn't get it in. Could have ended the round right there and then with the fake tap. He knew he didn't have time when he taps this. He had to fake it. He had to force the fight and nothing comes to him. Apex with all of that impact on long A with that double kill. And even the rotate B is good, right? Not only do they drop killing Glaive and take like a four on two right there, they just get shredded in the B bomb site. So Astralis making Vitality work for the rounds right now. Pistols out. Shocks on the saved AK. He's going to try and trade his teammates in middle. He's here said and done with angles like that from Magisk. He's making the org look very good indeed. And Lucky is ready to... Okay, we missed that. But Gyojin just destroyed and blind. Don't know how. The grenade will find Misuta. Can somehow Vitality grab this AWP? It's a bit out in the open. It's a bit out on a limb. Don't know if Magisk retrieved it. Doesn't look like it. So there may be a gun for Zaiwu hanging about in the toilet. They've just got to get the short control. Magisk is doing everything he can to not let that happen. Magisk? He's, he's looking for fights, yeah. Okay. That's given a pick over to Zywoo. Admittedly, you don't expect the Tech 9 to do that no. to you. But look at Apex again with this lurk, however. Oh, oh Zywoo! Drive by onto Glaive and Apex is all the way through the B bomb site already. Okay. He's pushing CT. They've Molotoved it on the side of Vitality. And if you're Astralis, you hear the Molly, you're not expecting Apex so damn deep. He steals the round away. I absolutely love what we're getting out of this guy. Oh. Yeah, not just him, Zywoo as well. Right? Everything, everything about that was all the pistols. Shocks didn't need to provide impact. It's Kyojin's D onto the AWP. The Zywoo tech the, taps up on A. The thing that's just so beautiful, though, about Apex in particular, right? everyone knows Zywoo shit hot. He's like the topic of the month all the damn time, right? For Apex, yeah. it is this case of coming back after a little time away, rolling back the years, and just showing up in every damn game. Yeah. So impressive. Snappy showed us earlier on that age is no... No laughing matter, right? And Apex is one of the most tenured players on this squad. Yeah. And, you know, in that conversation alone, in-game leading doesn't hold him back. It can for many mm. players, can for many teams, but Apex, Apex is up for the job. Trying to get out B now. Vitality, not much in their way on this lower bomb site. Deke from Magisk would love to find a pick, but the Suta is quick. And both pistols tagged up and lower as well. These rifles are out of position. They might already be thinking about saving, especially if Astralis don't get any kills on this defense. Sharks looking for entries. Nice check for Zai Wu. You can't trick him there, Bubski. And yeah, if I'm a rifle, I'm running away right now. You no, know someone's going to be hanging around looking for those exits, and Masuta is still in con. Regardless of all that, vitality on the board again. Five alive at the end of it. They win an eco. And now they're going to start building into this T side. We should see these guns saved at worst case. Flawless round though, right? And considering you did bring a reasonably heavy buyout into this one, right? It wasn't a case where, you know, you've got like one hero rifle. Nah, man, you had a, you had a good deal here to try and break apart Vitality. A flawless round is big in the grand scheme of this, right? With an eco looming for Astralis. Vitality, you've got them right where they want them. Every round hitting like a two for one right about now. And this is what we say, it's really not been uncommon to have kind of a slow start right out of the gate with the recovery coming a little bit later, but for Vitality standards, this is actually a pretty fast turnaround.
And Lucky Scout hopefully he can find some impact. He's got a mid spawn. He's going to take it. It's no orb. Uh, Zywu doesn't have one either. Oh, the nades stack on B. Nah, no one's there, sadly. Instead of boosting to try and take short, Ooh. Dupree's pushed in, but the flash from Apex is good. Oh, These double. rifles have been stripped away immediately. That's both the M4s gone. And they're not even in positions where you can look to get these back. That's the most heartbreaking part. They both go aggressive and they both lose their fights. Yeah, Masuta's done a really good job of lurking connector already in this T side, like constantly finding these rotates back down. He was the guy to open up onto Glaive coming back into B water on that late rotate. It was a round that Astralis won, but it's been very impactful in this position. Now it's time for Vitality to pick a bomb site. Doesn't matter which. Group five or four and leave a lurk. They're gonna go downward. B bound, Bubski alone. Out on the town and Majisk and Lucky up on that top side. None the wiser right now. There's no warning, there's no info. 40 seconds. Stick to your guns here. Bubsy's gonna, gonna try and get aggressive and they take him down. That's the round pretty much said and done. We just can try and stop the bomb with a Molotov, but even then, all it will do is delay the inevitable. Vitality have time to clear the site, to check everything. You would just want to take guns out of here if your Astralis have more to play with in the follow-up round, because as it sits right now, you're gonna have absolutely nothing. That was always the risk of forcing here, right? Like, you you knew the risks when you signed up for this round, Astralis, and the, the grim reality is, is that now Vitality are really hot on your heels. They are going to close this gap up drastically. The next round is more or less a freebie. Vitality could be on track to win out the half. The pressure is very much on Astralis right now, even though they're in the lead. The scoreline does not tell the story in terms of where the pressure lies. I just look over at Vitality, right? Zywu hasn't even really been orping. He picked up that one glass cannon. That was the only time we've seen the orp fielded so far. Right, he's just kept the rifle out since then, and he's been doing great work with it on these entries. It also means that, like, look at his bank account. He's on 10 grand. Apex is up there as well, along with Shocksort. The three of them on 10K, mate. Like, when you want to bring the orps out, it's very much on, on your terms as to whether or not you do that. You've got all the funds for it. And Astralis, well, they ain't so lucky. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Get it? Didn't even mean for that one. That's the beauty of this guy's name. Glaive's up long. He's got Lucky defending him from range. And Glaive, if he wants, if he feels the time is right, he can activate. Shox is going to come clear it, though. Is there a flash for Shox? He seems to be alone on this one. Glaive cleared out. Lucky needs this trade. Shox has seen him. He knows what he's up against. Lucky going to bound out. He already hears these guys running up short. A. Lucky's a dead man. He just doesn't know it yet. The tag will do, but it won't do much. Masuta, another entry into the B rotates. Headshot angles, and he's answering the call for grenades. And this is never going to be anything but what exactly you're watching. A clean round for Vitality. Damage spread thin. And while this was a 5-0, oh, 5-1 lead for Astralis, Vitality have really come back into their own in this T side. Their map pick for a reason. I was worried when it began. Seeing a lot of nice shots out of Astralis, but... Uh, we expected a competitive game, and here it is. It just feels kind of par for the course, like yeah. seeing, you know, being worried for Vitality early on. And sure. then you go, oh, actually, hang on a moment. Wait, no, they're sick. But really, these last few rounds, they all kind of come down to the rather aggressive monetary decision making by Chief Financial Minister Glaive over on the side of Astralis, right? Now we actually get to see a round where they've got all the little bells and whistles they could possibly need. I'm talking the AWP in Lucky's hands. They've got kits as well. Plenty of utility. This is 
everything you would need. This is all the makings of a round right here. There's no caveats. We're not saying, oh, yeah, you know, they've got like three M4s. No, everything they could need. This is where they need to offer up a little bit more resistance because otherwise, they're getting steamrolled in this half, and, and I think Vitality do just run away with it yeah. at that point, eyeing up like a 9-6 a half. I mean, it's just impossible to break Vitality's money. You're never going to do it. They are yeah, not you've got to go. grind yeah. back into you this game. You have to win every rifle round. And we haven't, like you said, we haven't even had to seize Iwuzo. One round, sure, but he doesn't need it right now. He's fine with the rifle, and the results are there. So that's in the back pocket. Vitality has so much more to show us that they don't even need to pull out of the bag yet. Now working for a contact B. This is probably one flash, one smoke over the top. In they go. Pug style. Kyojin running him up. Wave doesn't know where to look. Staring into the fire. And they are going to get burned. Astralis already thinking about saving their guns and saving their dignity. Lucky can't get involved. He can catch aggressive T's. Second kill maybe, but not today. Molly in heaven and out they go. Vitality. I love that, that call as well. What an odd start this has been. Like, you know, it, it looks so dominant out of the gate for Astralis when the money wasn't really built up for Vitality. You know, we saw that buy have to come in late after they lost that first rifle round. And I mean, since that, they've not only gone on this huge streak of rounds, but the majority of them have been four or five players surviving. Oh, oh no, the AWP even removed. And that is rubbing salt in the wound yeah. there. I mean, you know, he's got 16 grand, but they still save the AWP. It's just like, oh my god, these guys are made of money right now. Nothing can go wrong. Clean rounds. And even taking guns out at the end. Oh. You're right, it is weird. It started so strong. What happened? What went wrong? It's getting worse by the second for the day. Interstellar or something, mate, like that planet that you go to. Uh, one this hour maneuver is going to set us back 10,000. One hour, one hour in this economy is like nine years back on planet Earth. Like, yeah, I don't <laughs> get it. They've just been broke for so long. That is the downside of this CT money. Like, when your back gets up against the wall, you never move away from it, man. It takes so much. Then they go slow, they go quiet, they wait for the Well, kills. this is what we say, right? These are the rounds where if you're a Astralis, you want them to, like, run at you again. You want them to be fast. And in a way, like, you look at it and you go, well, Vitality, you're only up against pistols. They could throw in a fast round, sure, but they don't. This is where they get grimy with it and they go, Astralis, if you want to win this D ground, you've got to come to us and we're going to wait for you. But the Deagle will open up. There's the response for Kyojin. At least keeps it on a four on four, and he could look to get this gun out of play as well. Yeah, having smoke in, already starting to cut off these angles. Astralis know the inevitable is closing in on them. Far more telegraphed of an execute, but they know that Astralis don't have the util to counteract, right? On a gun round, you see these smokes land, you start to drop your Molotovs. Astralis just don't have that option. Here come Vitality, right in with attack from Asuta. Kyojin, same story. And it's these two young guns, new boys on the block, doing the heavy lifting in this round. Four kills between them. Lucky last up. Can try and jump spot all he wants, but... It's just... Uh... Matter of Masuta putting in the final shots. I will get there right at the end to steal it away. 7 6, the lead taken back by Vitality. And this is it for Astralis. This is the be all and end all, the do and the die. They've got to win this round, or Vitality are running away with a half. And reminder 6 1 start to Astralis, 6 yeah. 1 up. Right? And. 
Vitality have chained together every single round since that point. And as mentioned, it's how clean they've been. It's how decisive. Like, I can't even look at this and think of a scenario where Astralis have actually been in a point to win any of these rounds. This is crazy dominant. And it's a classic case where the scoreline at the top of the screen doesn't really tell the story of the nature of this, uh, this first half of play. Orp in the hands of Lucky. Bobski's got one as well. We want to see these Orps find something, but a oh. missed shot for Lucky. He's throwing up on the boost. It's a nifty little way of Orp in that, right? Zaiwu was not ready for it, but Kyojin, props to the guy, is able to trade it out. Yeah, you wonder if it's worthwhile. You're now solo A. You're really gambling with this lead. You need Kulev to come back up. He's already running it as Magisk has spotted three separate players up on this A site at a bare minimum. Peeking out again, looking for a headshot, but just commits and he only gets the dink. No more shown by Mizuta, only the tippity top of his head. And now Vitality committing, at least Astralis get to dump their grenades and a spray through the smoke flame, traded after one. He, all he does is finish off the 10 health player. It doesn't feel worthwhile, it's only Bubski here. His teammate is still committed at B, bomb finally coming down. Bubski scopes, now they know, and Kyojin just fires through the corner of the truck. It's another done deal, it's another one round, and it's Vitality winning the half at a worst case, but it's gonna get better. It's gonna get way better. Astralis have nothing into that last round of the half. Again, dead horse getting beaten, money getting removed. Vitality, great game out of them right now. This is just brutal. There, there is no other word for it. Like, once again, you know, even if this is a 9-6 half, you might look at it. Might look at it and go, oh, you know, Astralis got six rounds. That's fine for a CT side. If they didn't win the pistol, if they didn't get the conversions and they didn't win that first rifle round, right, this would be a, a drastically different scoreline. Those, those first few rounds, you're kind of riding the success of the pistol round still, right? And with that now, a long distant memory since the guns have come through reliably for Vitality. It's night and day. I, I cannot even make a case for Astralis right now. Th these rounds have been so one-sided. Yeah. And Astralis are like admitting defeat in like two on threes. Dupree wasn't even rotating in that last round. Oh, dear. Now Vitality are pulling in the five-man boost, really trying to add insult to injury. They won't spot anyone here. And so they will dismantle that boost. Yeah, look at the setup out of the gate. There were four in middle for Astralis. Two went con and two stay on A. So they're just gambling. They're just like, okay, if, we, if we're if we going to win a round, let's 50-50 it. Let's hope they come to us. And if they don't, well, you know, what can you do? Hopefully Glaive can hold off long enough. But already they're starting to put a bit of doubt in. Throw a rotate back down. Bubski on his move. Connect to control. Asuta has been a beast here. The run boost puts Zywoo on the angle. It sends Lucky Scout back to the bomb site. Suta again gets an opening kill down in Khan. Dupree caught out. Looking for that 9 6 now. Four kills away. Methodical clears coming through for Vitality. They've been great at clearing out toilets. Astralis have never gotten away with more than one apiece in this spot. It's only Majisk here, really, playing in front of the smoke. Kyoji selling the fake in his team, grouping at Monster. I just might be able to catch the lurk. Oh, he's just missed the timing. And now that Kyojin's aware of this fight, he's taking it over in middle while the rest of the gang are pressuring B. Astralis is so divided between this B and A bomb site. Bobski oh. can't hold on this time. He might have been able to earlier in this first half of play, but not anymore. Knocked out of heaven is lucky, and it's just Majisk. 1v4, late in through CT. Not a hope in hell. What a...
that T half. Let's see how that translates into the CT side for Vitality. Yeah, we got the best of, you know, Apex and, uh, and Zywoo yesterday. It's nice to have Masuta and Kyojin you know, showing up in this series right now. I love this, uh, this fake play as well. Astralis jump over the right side of Monster. So the spot for Vitality comes in. They think, oh, B's clear. I see nothing. I see no one. And these two top A players, one with a full belt of util, is here to sell the fake to keep three in the wrong place. We'll see if Glaive wants to go back and use his util down lower. Seems to be the play, Dupree. Even a kill here would be massive, would be everything. But Glock, not the gun for the range. And double face, Shox takes that fight. Heaven smoke for Glaive. And now here comes the rush. Oh, yeah. Kyoji can't get more than one, but Apex's nade will rain in for the trade. And now he waits at barrels. Oh, Ooh, good that's flash. a good flash. Oh. Lucky will <laughs> capitalize. I was very concerned that he wasn't going to check it. Oh, that would have been awful. But now the bomb going down. Hugo, two on three. Lucky plugging in those numbers. Can him and Glaive navigate this one? They've spotted one player, now two over towards CT. Lucky doing the bulk of the damage, oh, no. but he's left to fight this alone. Lucky, oh, will come in with a second. Three in the round in total, and Glaive there to close it out, helping his teammate, putting Astralis up onto seven. That was a weird one. He, he went for a reload, and they didn't even peek him. They, they were probably waiting for the re-peek from Glaive, and it came in after the fact. They had a second they could have, you know, double peeked Lucky and, uh, and removed that Glock from the pit. Yeah, you know, retake anywhere, a bit of a weird one. I like the fake for Astralis. Dupree sells it well, even with the death. Keeps enough players on that top site, and you've got to be happy if you are Astralis there. Lucky and Glaive get it done down on lower. And a bit of a buy-in for Vitality. They save some spare, but mostly Deeg armor. Stacking con. Bubsky spotted that. So one player there. Dupree's got him trapped in. Oh, no one's looking. Everyone's watching the top side, and they try and flash out a fight middle. Zaiwu and Masuta both getting a kill at least. Back through the model. It's a costly escape, but it's better than death. However, it might still be inevitable with Dupree watching the cross. Three on two now. And Astralis grouping. Yeah, they don't want to get ahead of themselves. Vitality are pretty keen on the old force. Even in a two on three, this can still get out of hand. But right now, they're going to gamble down towards lower. This is good. If you're Astralis, you know, you try to give them enough time to get in their own heads and read this one, right? And kind of take a bit of a gamble. Just by falling silent, you hope that they make the wrong read. You've still got time to play with here. So even as you're peeking into A, if you saw someone right now, you could double back. You could change your mind. But they're not going to. The A bomb site is the right decision here. They move in. It's uncontested. And so this conversion is locked in. Astralis now, they won the pistol in the first half. They found the conversions there. They've done it again in the second. And that's enough to keep their heads above water. Maybe scavenging some guns here, right? A couple of players died in middle, so Vitality got that to worry about. Maybe Magis can get here in time to stop. But, I mean, what, what weapons are there? Mac 10? Eh, gone already. Blink and you miss it. Shocks. Is there anything better? If not, just keep the Deagle armor. And I hope Magis feeds you a Galil. But regardless of what happens here, it's still a one round. It's still a bit, a bit of a comeback in the T side for Astralis. Every penny matters on the CT side. Astralis know that better than anyone, how that first half transpired. So Shock saves something, at least. This is when you can start to flex your muscles if you want, right? Go for a fast round, get quickly into B. You know there's not going to be much on the other side. Vitality will never be tempted to rebuy back. They just want the guns ASAP. Zywu saving for the AWP as well. He didn't really use it in the T side. There wasn't much of a need for it. But certainly your CT overpass can be the best weapon in the server. Especially in the right hands. We know Zywu. Always the right hands. Vitality have been proactive at getting this mid info in this round. And Masuta. Oh, oh that's nice. Won't get out of there. Chased down by Dupree. That 
goodness, they get that trade. Pack 10 on the boost, what do you think? What shock's gonna be able to get away with, right? It depends how much they get baited into Apex. It's not enough, sadly. Oh, the second Lovely. peak, Glaive, oh. popping them all up on the B entry. And suggests Sai Wu left in the 1v3. Homie's got a P250. Yeah, I can call this one off confidently, safely. Why no curse, no jinx, no worry. Yeah, it's probably fine. I, I actually yeah. agree with you for once, Hugo. <laughs> well, and that's when we know it's locked in. Glaive, lovely round for Frags. Walking out monster, and yeah, like you said, not falling for that bait from Apex on the corner. Checks out Shoxy's legs on that little mm. lip of the monster tunnel. And what great legs they are, Shox. <laughs> <laughs> Running track and field. He got him a suit, a little pre-fire, but he didn't know Dupree was a little closer. But this is it. This is the true test of Team Vitality now in the CT half. They've got the Orp on Taiwu. They've got everything they need, kit included, for by Lucky on his. Didn't get many head-to-heads between him and Taiwu. That won't happen just yet. Miss shot in middle through the smoke. Yeah, no, you're bang on. In terms of, like, this game being our eye test of a head-to-head -head of, you know, Lucky versus... Zai Wu, we, we really haven't had it a lot. And I, and I think both the Orps haven't really had a tremendous amount of impact so far. Largely, for Vitality, it's been this Masuta Kyojin story and uh, an Apex earlier on in the half. For, for Astralis, we've been looking at Glaive for the most part. Leading by example, shots in the oh. long toilets, blindsided by Dupree on Dominant. the opener. A lovely little shot to open up. And so Astralis, now that they've got this early man advantage again, they're very, very good once they get that opener. That was something that was eluding them a lot on the CT side. Well, now that they've found this five on four, they were trying to keep it slow. They really didn't want to lose Magisk there. He was trying to just hold on to Monster. Whoa, what? Dave wins that fight How? somehow. I could not tell you. And at 10 HP, he will get mopped up by Zaiwu, who's got to keep his wits about him out through long. He's about to get peaked. He hasn't spotted this player getting into the site, but he's keeping himself concealed. Now they learn about Dupree. Zaiwu won't give Dupree an angle if he can avoid oh. it. Tag onto Bobski. Oh, finds him through the lip of the smoke. Lucky's going to trade places with Zaiwu. Both players in the site. Lucky oh, dead oh, on the swing from Kyojin. What? And Vitality are the ones to come out on top there. That's a messy one. So I would think Kyojin with the USP on the run there when he got that smoke shot. But yeah, we were we were banking. We were counting on Dupree to take down Zaiwu. Not only did he not give up an angle at the truck when Dupree got out long, but he was the only guy there. Dupree could have gone wide. He wasn't to know. And then Mr. comes out through the smoke and, you know, draws the attention in, even taking down Dupree eventually. Yeah, I mean, with how that started, with the entry from Dupree, with Glaive finding a man in toilets, that was a five on three. That was a safe and secure situation for Astralis. Zaiwu, Kyojin, make magic happen. 10 to nine, and you can't run away with every rifle round Astralis. They may have gone 3 0 up, but now Vitality is back on the board. This is where things heat up. Astralis have taken Con in this round. This is going to give them some options here, right? Like, they could look to fake a bit of an A play early, drop down through Con. It's a very, very quick point of rotation. And they're actually going to look to assemble this boost here. There is a player on the barrels who could get spotted by this Kyojin. He is He's keeping an eye on it. He's very cognizant of the boost. And Samajis gets tagged and just drops oh. off. Glaive oh. has got an out monster while this is happening. And that's not come to cross. The uh, electronic smoke is down. And Glaive uses that to cross out and start to disrupt the B bomb site. Look at all the rotations Glaive has drawn down to B. Are Astralis looking to follow through on the B play? They it looks forgot like the bomb. Glaive. That's the reason it's weird. Oh, and Magisk. Oh. Holding on, Glaive doing it all three in the round right now, and just Shoxy left to beat. But look at the time, there's so little oh, left. If he stops no. the bomb plant, Shox can just hide. Oh, He's Glaive! 
Does he? Oh, Shocks has got it. Shocks has got it. Yeah, there's no time. Shocks dropping the bomb has locked it in. And Vitality steal that round away. That bomb was in spawn. Glaive got out B. He got that entry to a Kyojin on the barrels, I think it was. And, and all the entries start to fly through for Astralis at that point. Fast flick, triple headshot, but it is the one impact kill that changes everything. That's in that what we've round. been saying about this yeah. guy, right? At the minute, it's like Shox isn't getting many kills, but the kills he gets carry so much weight in how the round plays out. Yeah, that's a great example. Glaive, I mean, he's gone right in with a, a force call, this team buying around him. Because they kind of had to, keeping players after time. No loss, and so just put everything in, reset that money. However, that does mean Vitality are going to get one step closer to victory lane, and now Tai Wu taking down Glaive. That's one way to start it out. They even pushed the pl uh, playground, and this is the worst timing for Astralis. They could have caught this play. They were holding, but after losing Glaive, they've run away. Vitality are hot on their heels. Stack into B coming in. Bubsky needs his contact kill immediately or things are going to go from bad to worse for Astralis. Dupree trying to cut down con rotations. Bubsky doesn't check the water. It's all falling apart now. Dupree may win his battle. And Magis suddenly grabs a kill, but there's the bomb denial again. Zai Wu, he was party 10 seconds ago. Now he's stopping bombs on B. Oh, Majisk falls off the sandbags. Oh, can't regain control over the AK. Kyojin's getting wrapped by Dupree. This is weird. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Dupree, he realizes just a second too late. And Kyojin, here's the footsteps. Locks in at 12th for Vitality. Oh. And that was the force buy for Astralis. Now they have to take the eco. Now they have to bite the bullet. And so 13 rounds looking inevitable for the Vitality squad. From a 6-1 lead to Astralis, remember, to then 9-6 in the half. Vitality, the dominance continues. I love that swing from Saiwu. What a ballsy play. Just runs down the plant. We always say this, you know, when we've seen these Astralis games, like it's just the, the no respect. Feels like it's just such a, a flip. This roster doesn't get given a room that they would love anymore. Masuta pushing up into the water, double opener. Third, easily done, and the bomb loose. This round's over. Safe to say. It felt like Astralis, you know, they, they go 9-6 down, they win a pistol, suddenly it's equal. They have this, you know, seemingly one round on that A site. It doesn't go their way in the three on three, and now it's all come up for the Frenchman every single round since. It's just terrifying because, like, Thus far, this second half is, is, is bearing a, a shocking amount of similarities to, to the, the first, first half, yeah. right? Where, yeah, they got the pissed around, they got the conversions. That's essentially where the success begins and ends. Um, and now that the rifles have come through, Vitality have been ahead every step of the way. Yeah, clean rounds as well. Or at least this one. And that's a, that's a nice feeling for Vitality. They don't have a lot of money in the coffers, so keeping five alive here is, is going to be the call. Cool. It's, it's watch out, you know, don't lose your guns. We'd love uh, a bit more money to fall back on. Not that we're worried about Astralis yet. They haven't... <laughs> okay, Glaive. Haven't threatened them too much on this T side. Apart from that one round that comes down to time. Glaive, a lovely dig earlier, but now he's all that sits in this round. And as good as Glaive has been individually, we've already seen that's not saved the day for Astralis. Push up through Monster Vitality. Just want to end this quick, and Glaive won't be ready for the close position. Easily done. 13 to 9. And if Astralis wanted anything in this map, anything in this T side, it's now or never, boys. We've got the AWP in Lucky's hands. We've got an AWP for Vitality as well, but it's not in the hands of Zai Wu. We do actually see Shoxi donning that AWP a fair bit over him.
I wonder if this is uh, spawn based in this round. Oh my goodness. Well, there right. certainly is a spawn based yeah. play getting made. Look at this. <laughs> oh so my Luke, god, it's going to work. He's up in middle. He is in their face. He's he waiting kills behind Glaive. the smoke. Oh, oh no. Glaive oh. dead. Zywoo oh. oh. doubling down. That's the bomb as well. Oh. No smoke without fire. The molly down on ramp, smoked off, and Zaiwu uses that to his advantage. Now he's re-smoked yeah. the stairs. This gives him an avenue to try and clear Lucky out of the park. He has no help. Oh, bro, Zaiwu is absolutely playing with their hearts and minds. He's got the bomb under his control. Three in the round, spamming smokes, oh. and finally traded by Magis. I love how in all of that, his entire team, all four players, are sitting back 2-2 on their bomb sites. They're like, yeah, Zaiwu, you, you kill as many as you can, and we'll win the round for you. Don't you worry, bud. No one comes in to help. No one throws any kind of uh, utility. He had a lot of time for a rotate to even be called, but hell, Zaiwu, three kills. He'll be happy with that one. Let his team finish the job. I mean, we all remember that, like, D, Dust, Stickman animation, right? Yeah. Like, Stella, Stella, the closest thing CS is going to get to an anime for a long time. <laughs> Zywu very much is that Orperu, just, you know, like, uh, or, not in this case, but, you know, like, the guy, like, vibing to music. This sure. is him, like, Apex calling to the rest of the team. Zywu's just got the tunes on, mate, fragging out over in middle like it's a death match. So just Magisk here. Save. And with 10 seconds left, he's saving. Oh, Out of all the ways for your rifle round, you know, Hugo, going into that, you yeah. said, well, boys, this has got to be it. No, instead, they get rushed by Zaiwu in middle, and he ends the round before it even begins. Yeah, and Glaive, who has been the guy, you know, doing everything, not just calling, but every entry in this T side, and top of the server right now, like, he is, oh, sorry, second in the server to Masuta. He is the first guy to die. He doesn't even get a chance to react or trade. Look at this kill on the Glaive. Like, there's no way he can do anything about it. And Zywu, despite the smoke fade, you feel like you can't see a thing. And he just gets everyone out of that round. And yeah, a little, little smile, a little chuckle. It's that easy, huh? 14 to 9. And Astralis. Don't know what else to say at this point in the match. But Jisk with the gun, surrounded by pistols yet again. It went no better last time. And this is a huge match with resounding complications. Uh, you know, you, you've got to recall the group as well. Obviously, Heroic sitting pretty at the top of the board, but both these boys what? are two and one. If I'm not mistaken as well, the only team that could actually steal that top spot off of Heroic was Astralis. It hinged on them winning this series and then uh, beating Heroic when they played head-to-head. -head. Yeah. Uh, that was the only way it could have happened, right? On like a head-to-head -head tiebreaker. Yeah. If that were to occur, they would have both been four and one. And, uh, and obviously... Vitality already lost that. Mm. So, you know, pretty great as well if you're a heroic yeah. fan and you're and, watching You know, this. again, like, uh, anyone who's watched Astralis before, it, it's not GG at 14-9. And not even for this map, but even for the series. Yeah, Bono's right. up next. Like, yeah, Vitality haven't looked perfect on that map. They lost it yesterday to Heroic. Like, there's, there's ways back into this series for Astralis. But I'm getting a little scared in this map at least. Good flash. And Masuta capitalizes on it. Or oh, Shoxi could have had a double on the left side. Instead, the flick will do. Swapping sides of the site to the truck. Four on three. 20 seconds. Here come the Danes. Oh, Apex through. The smoke is taking players out of the round. Magis can do three. They've got 18 seconds. The bomb is dropped on the CT side oh. of Dice. And if I were the gambling man, I would be betting on Vitality here all day long. Look at that. 15 to nine. They win. can't yeah. blame them for thinking that this is GG because it, it really, you know, once again, a 9-15 scoreline doesn't look like that much of a one-sided game. It is. But all the rounds Astralis have come off the back of pistol victories, essentially. Yeah, six in a row. Astralis went 3-0 up in the half. As soon as the guns come out, by Tati have not dropped the ball, but maybe now is the time to pick up the pieces, do pre another opening kill. Had it in the last as well. Finding Zyru in con. It's a sigh of relief, a breath of fresh air. 
Kopsky in the Monster Smoke. He's going to wait with Majisk and Kyojin. What can he see? If anyone, it's almost two. He does a lot of damage. It just grabs the gun, but it's still a man up, even with the low health. Oh, legs almost removed. Apex flashing for a repeat. Majisk is really lucky to be alive right now. Dupree looking for another kill through the door, and Masuta is not giving him squat. Meanwhile, the Shock's alone orping on the A site. Vitality, they've got faith in him to find something if Astralis were to come up their way. And Astralis is still holding for aggression. Look at that bomb unlucky, just waiting for a long peek. And, uh, and Glaive sitting in toilets. Nothing's coming to them. They've got to go to it. And Masuta finally pokes his head through. 30 seconds, and with Masuta getting that info now, I imagine Vitality is starting to get worried about the A play. Shox is going to call the yeah, boys. we got Utility coming in. Shox, how long can he hold the line? They've just seen him. They've just seen him on this angle. Lucky. Oh, oh no! Oh, he TKs Majisk while he's fully blind now! 15 seconds! Shox, another kill! Oh, it's brutal! Play that music! Astralis, they're